Here's how to master trail braking in one minute. Slower brake release means more rotation and quicker brake release means less rotation. Of course, the brake pilots you choose will heavily affect this phenomenon, so make sure you find the right combination of trail braking pressures and brake bias percentages. Higher percentage will make you rotate less when trail braking and lower percentage will make you rotate more when trail braking. When you find the perfect amount, the car is going to be more or less oversteering, more or less understeering, and you're going to be adjusting your brake pressure release to make sure it maintains that micro slide. There's a secret skill called inducing understeer, which is when trail braking, you release the brakes a little bit more quickly to correct the oversteer and keep the car on the perfect balance. Your trail braking is also affected by how much mechanical grip there is available in a specific corner. So if you're driving in a corner that is on camber where you have more cornering grip, you can actually trail brake more heavily. Whereas in an off camber corner, you're going to have a lot less mechanical grip. So you're going to have to brake less and trail brake less into the corner to prevent tire locking.